Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Double Read Studio studio recital. Um, and I am your host, Dr. Kristen Letterman. And I'm really excited to present this. Um, the students have been working hard all semester in a very um, different way um, than our usual mode um, throughout the semester. And we have a great uh, presentation for you this evening. Um, you have, we're going to see both live and pre-recorded um, performances tonight by all of the bassoonists and all of the oboists at A State. And so we're going to start off the evening with a recorded um, trio set of the folks leader trios. Um, and these are Russian folk tunes. And these were chosen by me um, to have my oboists do some actual remote chamber music. So if you watched the spring um, studio recital that we had, they were doing duos together. And so this time they're doing trios and they all had to edit these video videos together themselves. So you'll see three trios because there are three oboes this year. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started with the folks leader trios. Let's give them all a Zoom round of applause um, for this, these wonderful three trios. And again, each of them edited these videos together um, and they chose who was going to uh, record first and then they would layer those parts on top of each other. 
Um, and that last uh, trio, you may have noticed that that theme was a little familiar, uh, especially if you uh, are a gaming nut from the 80s and played Tetris. So uh, we are going to move on to our next performer, um, which is Lindley Dodd. And she is a junior uh, Bachelor of Music Education major. And she's going to be playing the Bore from the uh, Cello Suite Number no. Three by J.S. Bach, um, and these are really uh, extremely famous pieces. Um, of course, they are originally for cello, um, but they have been adapted for bassoon and even English horn and various other instruments as well. Um, and so, without further ado, I'm going to give the floor to Lindley. lovely piece from that uh, cello suite number three. And now we're going to switch over to Kiri and listen to some oboe. Um, and she's going to be playing uh, the first movement, the Lento movement, from uh, Charles Buell's Three Melancholy Airs. And Charles Buell was a uh, California-based composer, um, very really little known, but wrote a lot of wonderful pieces in just about every genre. Um, and he typically liked to write pieces for specific occasions and specific people. Um, and this piece, um, I actually came across and thought that it would be a great piece for Curie to learn since she's started working this summer with uh, solo pieces. And so I, without further ado, I'm gonna give the stage to Curie.
Wonderful job. Yes, great. Um, fantastic piece and great, great job. So we're going to move on to some more of the chamber music uh, that my oboes have uh, prepared. And they also did some duos where they were playing chamber music with themselves and again, editing the videos together. Um, so this next duo is uh, with Alec Black playing with Alec Black. And he's playing an, uh, a, the finale from the abduction uh, of the Seraglio, uh, titled, um, the German title, Nie werd ich deine um, Hult verkennen, meaning your noble mercy passes measure. And uh, without further ado, let's get to this wonderful duo. Wonderful job, wonderful job. It's a nice little short duo. Um, we have these wonderful um, duo books with Mozart opera arias and um, works from his various operas, and this is one of them. So we're gonna bring to the stage uh, Sophie Crystal um, playing some more Bach. And she's going to be playing the uh, first cello suite, which is probably the most famous of the six cello suites. Um, though she's not playing the most famous movement, she's going to be playing the courant, courant which is a running and uh, jumping dance. So without further ado, Sophie Crystal. Thank you. 
Wonderful job. Love listening to the box suites, no matter what instrument um, is playing them. So we're on to some more oboe duos, this time with uh, Lucas Fitzner. And uh, he chose to do a duo from Flitz, uh, Fritz Fleming's uh, 60 Progressive Etudes. Um, and they're very similar to um, our Barrett Melody books. Um, he was a German oboist, but actually studied in Paris. So he brought the French oboe to Germany and kind of changed the uh, oboe world in Germany. So very influential oboist. Um, and this is a uh, etude set that is uh, three volumes uh, long, and he's playing the very first one of all three volumes. So let's listen to this wonderful duet. <laughs> duo. And again, uh, the OBO students are um, editing these videos together and learning a lot about playing chamber music. Um, even though they're playing chamber music with themselves, they're learning a lot about intonation, learning a lot about um, just lining rhythms and things up, even though they might not be perfect. Um, so I love this uh, assignment that I've given them. I don't know that they do uh, all the time, but I think it's um, a lot of fun for them to learn these sorts of things. So we're going to move on now to another live performance. And we're going to bring in um, Alec Black, and he is a junior uh, Bachelor of Music uh, performance. And he's going to be playing the first and second movements of the Seven Bagatelles. The first movement is a march, uh, and the second movement is an elegy. And Gordon Jacob was an, an English composer, really, really well known. He taught Malcolm Arnold and uh, Gustav Holst's uh, daughter, uh, Imogene, um, and really loved wind instruments. He wrote a lot for band. And so, of course, um, this is a, it just fits right in Gordon Jacob's wheelhouse. So without further ado, Alec Black playing um, the first first and second movements of Gordon Jacobs' Seven Bagatelles.
Wonderful job, Alec. Great job. I always love listening to that elegy. It's just so um, just calming. So as we keep moving, we're to our uh, final uh, oboe duo. Um, and this is Kiri's oboe duo. She's uh, also performing one of the Fleming uh, progressive etudes and it's number three. Um, and she had fun with her video editing. So I will just go ahead and get to this video so you can see just how much fun she had with this. So as you can see, she somehow cloned herself um, and found out how to play true chamber music with herself. Um, so it's a fun um, video editing technique that she's been wanting to do for a while. Um, and she finally figured out how to do it this semester. And so she thought she would try that out for everyone to view. So we're getting to another uh, bassoon um, performance. And this time we're going to bring on um, Ryan Sowell and he's going to be performing um, one of the Telemann fantasies, um, which were originally written for flute, but many different instruments uh, play them. And um, this one is adapted for bassoon, so it's put in actually a different key than the original version. Um, but they're wonderful little pieces with lots of little mini movements. Um, and he's going to be performing the first movement of the fantasy in C major um, that was adapted from fantasy number one. So without further ado, Ryan Sal.
Wonderful job, Ryan. Uh, that's always a fun one. Again, it's the fan first fantasy and the 12 fantasies of Telamon and um, everyone kind of starts playing that one since it's the first in, in the series. Um, and it's that's just a fun movement to play. So we're going to move on to some other chamber music. It's another duo, uh, but I've been coaching a oboe and clarinet duo this semester, and we've been having fun doing some transcriptions and some pieces written specifically for this instrumentation, but they chose to present um, something that is actually a transcription, um, and it's from that opera aria book that uh, Alec chose to play his duo from, and it's actually um, a uh, tenor aria from the same opera, The Abduction of the Seraglio. Um, and this is when the tenor Belmont, uh, Belmonte uh, declares his love to Constanza. Um, and it, the, the title translates to When Tears of Joy Flow. So without further ado, here is this duo. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, th this has been a, a joy to coach um, and uh, just have those two colors together. It's a not a completely um, usual ensemble, but there is um, repertoire for it. So uh, 
people must be playing these sorts of things. So um, we've, we're coming to close to the end of this recital and we've got our final live performance. Um, so we're gonna bring uh, Lucas Fitzner to the stage and he's gonna play some more Telemann, one of the Telemann fantasies. And this is number six of the 12. And it's the first movement of this uh, particular um, fantasy. And Lucas is a freshman uh, music education major. Um, and without further ado, I'm going to bring Lucas to the stage. Great job, Lucas. Wonderful, wonderful. So as I mentioned, we're getting very, very close to the end. We've got one more solo performance. Um, and this is from uh, Zach Lynn, who just uh, released his senior recital uh, as a video release on YouTube, um, I believe just last week. Um, so he's performing uh, the second movement to the Vivaldi Bassoon Concerto in E minor. Um, and Vivaldi just wrote tons and tons of uh, wind concertos, especially bassoon concertos. So this is um, something that really works well for the bassoon and is fun for bassoons to play. So without further ado, I'll get this uh, performance of Zachary Lynn's Vivaldi concerto. <laughs>
of course, wonderful performance, Zach. Um, and again, that was just the second movement from the Vivaldi Bassoon Concerto in E minor. So we're at our last piece and I hope you enjoyed your evening with us. Um, I know that I was excited to present this and have all of my students um, and Dr. Uh, Dale Clark's bassoon students as well um, present the their performances to you um, because of the time that it is, it makes it difficult difficult for us musicians to do what we love to do. Um, and so I am happy that we were able to put this on. Um, and for everyone, I see the comments coming in and uh, lots of love for all of the performances. So our final piece is a uh, adaptation of Palestrina's Adoramus Te, which uh, of course is only for voice, um, but this is for a double read ensemble um, for seven players. Um, and so everyone that you heard today um, is going to be playing Alec Black, Kiri McMahon, uh, Lucas Fitn Fitzner, Ryan Sowell, Sophie Crystal, Lindley Dodd, and Zach Lynn, um, all in this one performance. So I leave you with the text of this piece, which is, we adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. So please enjoy Palestrina's Otto Ramos Te. And that's it, everyone. Thanks again for watching. Um, we thank you so much and hope to see you at some future concerts. Good night.